Hello and welcome back. In our session today, we will be converting our improper fraction into a mixed fraction. And if you're ready, let's get started. So in our first example, we will be converting the fraction 13 fifths into a mixed fraction. And to convert a fraction, especially an improper fraction, into a mixed fraction, that means that we're dividing our denominator, which is 5, into our numerator of 13. Now we know that 5 can't divide into 1 since 1 is less than 5. So we'll be dividing 5 into 13, which will go twice. 2 times 5 is 10, and when 13 minus 10, this will leave us with a difference of 3. After you've completed your division, each part of our answer from our quotient to our remainder and even our divisor all plays a part in identifying the parts of our mixed fraction. So for example, the quotient that I have will be my whole number. My remainder in this case, which is 3, this will be my numerator. And my divisor, or 5, which I divided by, this number will remain as my denominator. So this will not change. So when you have to set back up your mixed fraction, each of these parts need to be placed in their correct position because when we go back to having to change now our mixed fraction into an improper fraction, when we place these digits in their incorrect position, that means that my improper fraction will not be the same as my mixed fraction. So we're going to begin with our whole number. So my whole number is 2. That number will be written big. My numerator which is our remainder in our fraction, will be at the top. And my dividend, which is, sorry, and my divisor, which is 5, will return back to my denominator. So you have to make sure that after you have done dividing, that each of these numbers are placed in their correct position. Let's try the next example. You can feel free at this point to pause the video and convert 27 11s into a mixed fraction and then when you're ready you can unpause the video and see if I got the exact same answer that you did. So let's begin. We'll be dividing our fraction by putting our so let's begin. We'll be converting our fraction into a mixed number by dividing 11 into our 27 and we know that the 11 can divide into 2 since 2 is less than 11. So we will be dividing 11 into 27, which will go twice. 2 times 11 is equal to 22. And when 27 subtracts 22, we have a difference of 5. So again, remember that our number at the top will be our whole number. My remainder, which is 5, will be my numerator. And the number we divided by, which is 11, will remain as our denominator. So when we set back up our fraction, 2 is my whole number, 5 is my numerator, and 11 is my denominator. And this will give us the fraction of 2 and 5 elevenths. Okay, so I hope this video is very helpful to you. I hope it showed you how you can convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction and how you are to arrange those numbers after you are done dividing. So make sure to get some additional practice in and we'll see you right here in the next video on Jules Math Tools where we make math easy.